Greetings, nature lovers. Hello, guys. And tree huggers. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you in the background there. Oi. You're only allowed to speak if you're this tall. And, you know, I'm, imagine my character just... Uh, my fists are just the level of your groin, so I'd be careful. My character's <laughs> female, so, you know, have fun. <laughs> it would still hurt, but not that much. Yeah. <laughs> How would you know? Well, I've, I've been told. Ah, I've been told. How on earth would you know? What have you been trying with the women? Alright. Okay, TK. <laughs> right, moving on. Right. Let's uh, get this trial business over. I accidentally <laughs> took hold of Nishka once again. <laughs> you're always... You're again, just, I did. Is it, no, you're not even Nishka, you're Eleni. Yeah. <laughs> Your favorite. It's even worse. Eleni's cool though. I like Eleni. Eleni's okay. Bit of a too she's, much of a cheater. Who the fuck is stalking? I don't know. She's our white mage though. I mean, you can't. You don't fuck with the white mage. True. I don't like she's that my fair, my character's humper. literally standing in the brazier. That that's gotta be <laughs> hot. <laughs> well, your character's hot, hot, hot. <laughs> yep. All right, let's get going then, because this is gonna drag on forever otherwise. <laughs> Uh, how goes your investigation? Our mages and scouts have turned up nothing yet. What I think we, we found have? enough clues. Yeah. <laughs> how ridiculously stupid are they if we can find everything and they can find nothing? That is kind of weird, isn't it? Yep. It's a video <laughs> game, isn't it? Uh, if you're certain, but I wouldn't put it past those Luskins to find some counter evidence. And then they'll have you executed. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, Duh. pretty much. All right then, let's take, let us take this to Nasher, who is right, you know, behind me. Yeah, uh, three steps. That's the, that's a long journey. Yep. <laughs> oh, it takes a loading screen as well. <laughs> yeah, three steps and the loading screen. Now uh, this, this is this is all too good. Are we actually style. going to a courtroom with the judge and a hammer? Things didn't work no, like to that. No, the judge and the hammer. Pity. Actually, I think Judge Judy presides over the trial, if I remember correctly. It's not Judge Judy. is not that famous here. Lord Nasher Alagandar, defender of Neverwinter, and Reverend Judge Olaf Uska, Lord Justiceer of Tyr. Bring in the accused. Only you, of course. Reverend Judge. Let the trial commence. We are gathered here to determine the truth of the crime committed in the small village of Ember. Its people slaughtered to the last man, woman, and child. Under Tyr's guidance shall the truth of this matter be revealed and justice delivered. Is the accuser here? I speak for those the accused slaughtered at Ember. And I am here to see that justice is carried out this day. It's kind of curious that my character is the only accused, apparently. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it's also kind of curious that they said, bring in the accused, and, and my character just kind of wandered in. Like, yes, like, maybe yep, he, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Ma you maybe see... he knifed the guards that were supposed to be escorting him or something. I don't know. Do you see the guy behind in the blue-like shirt? Yeah, I do. He has, like, two handprints on his boobs. Yeah, he does. Yeah, that's, you know... Strange story there. It was the orc behind me. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, and I'm the, more worried about the person right next to him. Because yeah, that the, does not look, yeah. you know, pretty at all. It looks kind of like an orc monk who, with the haircut he's got there and whatnot. Or a transvestite. Mm. Yep, I was thinking that, but I wasn't going to say uh, it. Okay, but. maybe you should continue if this is saying going to take so long as you say. That is that is a good point. That is true. To think of it. No, I was just solely thinking about Tyr and, you know, how much they took from Norse I mythology. I would say one. Yeah, one. Yeah, yeah we're all here for bits. the truth. <laughs> and is the accused here? And his defender? We are present and eager to bring the truth of this matter into Tyr's sight, Reverend Judge. Very well. We now list the items presented by the accused in their defense, and they will be shown to the people of the court, Lord Nasher and held aloft for the eye of Tyr to see. First off, 
It may take a while for them to get through all the evidence, bless it, and the rest of the ritual nonsense. So if you have anything you want to ask, now's the best time. Well, I want to ask why we just spoke, and then after we spoke, he asked if we were here. That, you know, yeah. I mean, is the um, accused here after we, we've said, talked to him? After we already? walked in, yeah. What, do we need to ask yeah. anything? Or, no, really? Uh, advice, uh, I suppose? Yeah, I guess we might as well see if he has any advice. Torio is an arrogant creature, but she is not a Luskan ambassador for nothing. This court is her theater, her arena, and she has had years of experience in treachery and twisting words. While evidence helps a case, she knows it is often the drama, the belief of everyone here as to who is guilty and who is not that will ultimately win the day. Do not forget that the rabble are here today to see someone hang. Unless you can convince them that you have been wronged, and grievously so, it is an uphill battle you fight. So razzle dazzle them, pretty much. You guys probably don't get that reference. I do. Uh, I do. Yeah, we you, should you ask watched that Chicago. Strategy. Everybody's heard that at least. <laughs> it is somewhat here. unorthodox. Yeah. But playing upon the animosity between Luskin and Neverwinter may help you. Yeah. That sounds risky to me. It does. Two. Just... Yeah, two. Yeah. But that will only go so far. And may even help Torio in convincing the court that your actions may have been an attempt to start another war which no one in Neverwinter wants. I cannot give you a clear strategy, but remember that trading diplomatic words with Torio will be difficult. Do not resort to such a duel unless you feel you can absolutely win. And do Aye. not threaten her or try to bluff her unless you are equally certain. If you fail, you are bound for the gallows for certain. Well, your advice was very obvious and or useless, I must say. <laughs> okay, let's just go. Yeah, three. Yeah, three. Very well. Then that is the evidence before us. Oh! <laughs> They're all going. <laughs> Look at their faces. Torio's got quite a Why are they looking at the her. ground? That little puppy. <laughs> Let's see her fly out of this little trap. The accuser, Ambassador Torio Claven of Luskin, may now call witnesses to the stand. These pieces of evidence if that is what they truly are can easily be explained away it may seem extensive but our witnesses will tell a different story diplomas oh intimidate i could have done that okay. yeah uh, diplomacy you know she, or she mentioned or something like if you can truly call it evidence so you know play on the, in on that yeah, yeah fun speculate the truth is what we are here to determine. Everything is in question. Well, she does seem quite certain of our guilt. Yeah, that two. doesn't sound Well, uh, one, I mean, one. Yeah. Yeah. Of course not. And I aim to prove it. Which is an ambassador. <laughs> I suggest you hold your tongue. I think you will want to hear what my witnesses have to say. Oh! <laughs> Why, she has a temper. Well done. I am impressed. I understand that you wish to stall the witnesses about to speak, but there is really nothing more your wordplay can oh, do to prevent it. Another witness, yes. Well, and a most important first one, one, Reverend Judge. Unknown one. to many, the people of Ember were not slaughtered to the last woman and child. Yeah, number one, sounds like. Uh, uh, yeah. Or the boy? Now nah, it would have been Elaine. Yeah. yeah. I call on Elaine, the last living resident of Ember, to speak on what she saw that fateful day. Yeah, the boy is our surprise witness. Elaine, yeah. thank you for coming here. I know how difficult it must be, but you realize that you are the only voice of Ember that survived that terrible tragedy. Now, please tell the court what you saw. I... I saw the accused. They're at Ember. He killed them all. Elaine, no. Chandra? Um, yeah, let Chandra plead or something. 
Even though that yeah. probably isn't allowed, but... Look, when you get the chance, ask her if I would ever travel with someone who would do that, and where we were when it occurred. This isn't good. We need to change the course of the river streaming from her eyes, or we're all going to hang. Why would Sand hang? Do they hang the defense attorney because in Because they think it's all of them. Yeah. Yeah, but Sand wasn't traveling with us when this happened. True. Oh, well, maybe. Yeah. Um... Uh, two, I suppose? Yeah, I'd say two. And no then we can bring up... To Toriu if two, we don't have yeah. to. Yeah. It will be allowed. All sides of an issue must be heard. For now, Ambassador, continue. Go on, Elaine. Tell us what you saw. All those people. And they had no weapons. They had no way of fighting back. But... But... But the accused slaughtered them all, did he not? Yes. I saw it all. I took refuge in port last. There was nowhere left for me to go. You are safe now, Elaine. And the accused cannot harm you here. What more proof is needed? We have a witness, a witness that saw the accused perform the deed. Perhaps we should move on to the sentence now. The accused's guilt is plain. My god, if she was a lawyer, she would know that a witness is always... Yeah. Like, not real evidence. Yep. Never yeah, because sure. we now get so to tear the witness sucks. apart. Yeah. <laughs> I have some questions first. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Of course. Please. The trap has already closed. Oh my god, closed. are you stupid There is no woman. squirming out of it now. Yeah, I always want to strangle her whenever she speaks. <laughs> one. Yeah. Uh, one, yeah. We might as well take Chandra's advice. You know I do. You brought her to port last. One yeah, again, I'd one, say. Yeah. Yes, I know her well, as a matter of fact. She stopped in Ember during trade season. Not once, but many times. One. <laughs> yeah, yeah just one again. Follow the obvious ones. <laughs> no. No. I did not know that. Reverend Judge, I fail to see where this line of questioning is going. It's relevant, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I yeah. played, uh, what's the game called? Apollo Justice. Yeah. I played it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> One again, I guess. Yep. Looks like. Elaine, listen to me. Something's wrong. Whoever did what they did at Ember, it wasn't who you think it was. I would know. Enough! The accused has only one counsel, and only he shall speak to the witness. Oh, Ambassador, I freely forfeit the right to question the witness when Chandra here is speaking. I really have no choice. Elaine, we weren't even at Ember when it happened, or anywhere near there. Are you sure you saw us? I... I think I did. Or... will someone who looked very much like the accused... What? Black... with long Ooh. eyebrows. <laughs> Um, I'd go with two. Yeah. Yeah, sounds like a good strategy. Forget this. Clearly the witness is too distraught to give her <laughs> well, testimony your properly. Testimony is so also let's useless. choose someone who's not affected by Ember at all. Someone the accused knows all too well. I call forth Chandra Jero. What? Okay. Uh, three I'd say? Yeah, yeah three. three. I'd rather spit on her. Besides, there's nothing <laughs> totally. to testify about. Come now, Chandra. I like Don't Chandra. Don't be afraid. We are yeah. in a court of law. You may speak freely here. About what? About these false accusations? No. I am interested only in your interactions with the accused. You travel with him. Do you not? I do. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever observed the accused causing, or near, any acts that compare to the destruction at Ember? I really don't think that- Answer the question. No. Not even your home? Well, yes. But that, but that was, was not they us. Were, and yeah. wasn't your home attacked twice? We were near the incident. The ground? Well, yes, but that was after- Next time when I ask you a question, I want you to answer it, Chandra, without objecting or giving me exceptions. You are safe here, and you need not fear the accused anymore. Because you see, what I am most concerned about, Chandra, is what you think. What you really think of the accused. We know something of his activities in Neverwinter already, as well as the lands around. So think carefully before you answer. 
Hope you've been treating her well. She's about to come clean. Is he someone who might do such a thing? No, he is a good man yeah. who cares about others. To hear him slandered like this makes me angry at the injustice of it. Angry enough to attack? To kill <laughs> those who stand against the accused? <laughs> I see. By the gods, if you are accusing me of what happened at Ember... I make no such accusations. But trouble does follow the accused, oddly enough. Perhaps you are blinded. One can often be in shock after the destruction of one's home. Thank you for all your help, Chandra. I think this matter will soon be brought to a close. I hope you get what you deserve, Ambassador. My dear, all I want is justice. I'm gonna fist the I want I want the strangler. <laughs> Both of which sound like justice to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, two. Yeah. Yep. In a moment, but there's one more witness who's critical to this case. Why, I call the accused as a witness, of course. He doesn't talk much. <laughs> I'd go with two. Okay. Uh... Yeah, two definitely sounds right. My question is a simple one. Why did you kill the people of Ember? For kicks, mainly. Oh, that's three, that sounds clearly. Now, I do have a good, a good amount of lore. But that takes us down the path that Sand, although told us about, wasn't sure about. So, yeah, yeah, three does sound right. Three seems best. So you have not been to Ember? Not seen the dead at your feet? In fact, I, well, you know, helped them out. say that. <laughs> One or two? I'd say two. Yeah. Yeah, two. It seems you're simply circling the issue. If you were at Ember, admit it. If you saw the dead, admit it. Just tell the truth for the court, please, and we can move on. Can we get Naya here? So, you know. Uh -huh. She would know that what we did there. <laughs> two. Uh, two. Yeah, Definitely, two. Yeah. I believe that is why we are here, isn't it? Although you can answer that better than I. Yeah, one. One. It seems slaughter was the only reason. An entire village wiped from the map, gone. Yeah, one again. One again, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so you are saying that this may have been militarily motivated. The people of Ember slaughtered solely to test our defenses, our resolve. Does take us into Why the... is it the innocent must suffer for the aggression of others? Does take us a bit into the war between, you know, Luskin and Neverwinter, though, but. No, it's turning it back into. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, so she is trying to, gonna... clearly, but. And we're going to say that it's a personal attack against us, actually. Yep. Yep. What? Come now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one. Yeah. Arr. Preposterous. Luskin has not set foot in Neverwinter before. And if there was conflict with you, it was no doubt due to your aggression. Oh, really? Uh, oh, and you got two. But I think one sounds better. Wow, let me, g give me a couple of more seconds to read that. <laughs> yeah, this sounds like it would get the crowd on our feet. Especially the last line there. Who yeah. would never give up a Neverwinter citizen without attempting to find the truth first? Indeed. <laughs> Woot! Perfect. <laughs> my word, I think I'm actually learning a thing or two. Enough! I have asked you to answer my question. Why did you kill the people of Ember? <laughs> and I have answered that. Yeah, we answered that. Yep. <laughs> Let it be shown that the accused refused to answer directly, or at all. I have no more patience well, for this farce. Well, no more questions, question. Reverend Judge. Very I wonder well, who side the cr crowd the is on. The accused may now present their witnesses. May I? I have a brief opening speech with some cutting barbs prepared, but if you'd rather be found innocent as quickly as possible... Um, as long as he consults yeah, us before whatever. he calls witnesses, I'd say. Yeah. 
Of course, of course. Well, now that you've told me, that is. Is the counsel <laughs> of the accused prepared to give his statement? 